we have 20 years worth of literature on the importance of mathematical tasks. This is one of the most critical decisions we make every day, is what are my students going to be doing? What problem are they going to be solving and why? What are they going to be able to take from it? So you want to provide, right, you want to have a task that's going to engage students in the mathematics you want them to learn, meet your goals. You also want it to be accessible. So what are they going to be able to engage in based on their prior knowledge? And how do we have multiple entry points so every child has access? We can have a lot of inequity based on differences in the kind of tasks we use in the classroom. If I'm using one kind of task, challenging tasks that engage kids in reasoning and problem solving, and the teacher next door to me who's teaching the other third grade class is not doing that, even if I have a whole totally homogeneous population, I'm creating inequities. So the point is all kids need regular ongoing opportunities to engage in tasks that promote reasoning and problem solving. These tasks need to be the vehicles for mathematics learning. And notice that when I say these challenging tasks that promote reasoning and problem solving, the examples we used are not big, long, hairy tasks, right? They're selected strategically to promote the mathematical goals, to engage kids in achieving the mathematical learning goal for that lesson. So one of the core instructional issues, I think, for all of us is to what extent do kids have an opportunity every single day to engage in those rich tasks?